Hey guys, so today I'm here with the Red Rock 4x4 Gladiator Grill in matte black, fitting all 2007 to 2018 JK Wranglers. So one of the easiest ways to switch up the front end aesthetic of your Wrangler is to add a grill. So this one by Red Rock is gonna be for those JK owners that are looking to add a very aggressive aesthetic, as well as a very different grill than your standard options, as well as the other options on the page right now. So this is gonna be a direct replacement and it will fit exactly how your factory grill will and it will work with any factory style headlight and factory style turn signal that you already have on your JK. This is also gonna be one of your most affordable choices on the page at roughly $80. Now other more expensive options are not gonna be as aggressive as this. However, they may have some extra bells and whistles like integrated lighting into the grill, or they may just have mesh panels at the front. They're gonna jack up that price point. But with this, you are getting that very aggressive styling and still keeping that cost down. So obviously, Choosing your grill comes down to personal preference and this isn't gonna be for everybody, but this is definitely gonna be for those JK owners out there who are looking for something very aggressive, looking to add an aggressive tone to their build, but looking to keep it on a budget. So install is gonna be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, very easy to install. It's probably gonna take you about 15 minutes to do so with some basic hand tools. So speaking of the install, let's jump into that now. The tool that I used for my install was a flathead screwdriver. So the first step to taking off our grill is just to pop our hood. So after we have our hood popped, we can go ahead and take our flathead screwdriver and start to remove these six pop clips that are holding in the top of our grill. You can also use a trim removal tool, but I feel a flathead screwdriver is a little bit easier to remove these. Just be mindful when you're using a flathead screwdriver to Protect your paint. Don't want to scratch that up. So after we have our last one out, we can move on to disconnecting our turn signals. So before we pop off our grill, we want to disconnect our turn signals just to depress that clip and pull back. Then we can do the same thing on the other side. So after we have our turn signals disconnected, we can just pop off our grill, just give it a little bit of a tug. then we can fully disconnect our grill. So what we need to do next is swap our factory turn signals over to our new grill. So we're gonna use that same flathead screwdriver that we used to remove the pop clips up at the top and just depress these clips and wiggle out our turn signal. So once those are past our grill, we can just pop that out, put that to the side. And we can do the same thing on the other one. So before we go ahead and install our new grill on our Wrangler, I did want to sit it next to our factory one and show you guys a little bit of a comparison. So overall, these are going to be completely different. First off, this is made of an ABS plastic material. It's going to be a little bit more rigid than your more flimsy factory grill. This is also going to come in a matte black finish, so you can keep it matte black to create a little bit of a contrast with your Wrangler, or this is also completely paintable, so you can paint it to the color code on your Wrangler already. Now, obviously, this is gonna be a lot different. You are replacing those iconic uh, seven slots with something a lot more aggressive. You do get some hard angles in here and the eyebrows over top of your headlights. So you are getting a very aggressive look out of this in comparison to your simple and um, plain factory grill. Now, not to mention this is going to come with everything that you need to install it. It does come with some replacement retainer clips so you don't have to move those over from your factory grill and it does come with a hood seal here so your hood is going to be sealed to your grill. So it does have all the features that your factory grill will, it just has a more aggressive appearance. So let's go ahead and get this set up so we can install it on our Wrangler. So like I mentioned, we have a couple of things to do here. So first we're gonna start with our turn signals. These are gonna go in exactly how uh, they were taken out of our factory grill. So all we have to do is push that up into place, line up our clips. And we can just give it a little pressure and pop it forward. And the tabs on our turn signal. We'll clip into place. We can do the same thing on the other side.
So after our turn signals are in place, we can take our new retainer clips and attach those onto our, our clips here. You're gonna have four down on the bottom and then you're gonna have two, uh, one on each turn signal. So our last step before we can install our grill is just to install our rubber seal up at the top for our hood. Now it's gonna have 3M tape on the back so we can just peel some of that backing off and start to stick it on top of our grill. So you wanna make sure that it is lined up. You're gonna stick it directly on top. After you have it in position, just give it a little quick press. And when the hood is closed, it'll help to cure that seal. And then we can go ahead and install it on our Jeep. So what we can do now is just pop on our grill and push the retainer clips into place, lining everything up. Then Red Rock does provide you with new pop clips for the top. I'm just gonna reuse our stock ones, since those are so good. But if you ever have a broken clip, they do provide you with those. We can just pop our pop clips back into place. So we can plug in both of our turn signals. Do the same thing on the other side. So our last step is just gonna be to close up our hood. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe, and for more videos like this, always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.